they're towards the bottom in terms of offensive rebounds per game. 12th for Nebraska and 13th for Wisconsin in that category. And that's how you quiet a crowd that's uh, been kind of riding you a little bit. This Wisconsin team typically does. And Klesman was talking to Tominaga down the floor. He's going to have to be careful. Back comes Jamarcus Lawrence. The freshman goes up strong. Limited the ability to contest effectively. Jordan Davis is checked in and drains a three. In the final minutes, outscoring Penn State 11 to 6 in overtime. Crowell working on Walker here. That's a matchup to keep an eye on. Crowell won that round. Crowell, his triple, well off the mark. What a fortuitous save oh. by Klesmit, and he finds two more for Wisconsin. Good recovery there by Hoiberg. Hepburn patiently fades and finds the shooter roll. Great play by Griesel. Even though there was contact, he's entitled. He's entitled to that space all the way up, and he maintained it, and as a result... Lesmith's been confident early, turned it over there, trying to find Crowd. Here's the speed of Lawrence. Lawrence in transition, cut it, plus a foul. They're trying to rotate another fresh defender because of how well Tominaga moves without the ball. Nice job by Asijin. Shot clock doesn't reset. Tominaga looking for his first bucket. There it is to wake up Pinnacle Bank Arena. Hepburn, tough step back. That's his game. Man. He's been really, really impactful for the Badgers so far today, as Jordan Davis. Perfect pass. Money. You could see that. This is an easy game, Jason, and it wouldn't let me near it. All right? Oh, and lobbed it up. Crowell comes back down with it and goes back up strong. What, how about Tyler Wall now? This is the fourth different defender that Wisconsin has rotated on Tominaga. What a pretty pirouette by Griesel. His first field goal today. Good job by Walker moving his feet. Really good job. Crowell on the finishing end of a pretty feed and a good orchestration from Wisconsin again. Some nice passing in close quarters. And yeah, you cannot... Klesman got kind of caught up in that action far side. It might have looked awkward initially, but that wasn't where the, the, where the travel occurred. Greasel attacks the rim. He's going to get that to go. And a trip to the free throw line coming up. Nebraska's right back in this. Nebraska going real big right now with both Walker and Blaze Cato on the floor. Tominaga. Wow. All 14,811 wanted that to go down. Nebraska has not led. With a three, they potentially could. Tominaga steps back. He wants the three. And hits it. <laughs> Walker trying to muscle his way in. He did. There's a free throw coming up for Derek Walker. The veteran will get to reset things. Hoiberg at space and drained it. For Crow to catch that, he was going to be outside of the block area. He was going to be about three or four feet farther away than what he would normally like to get it. That burn, what a fade. He's been doing that all afternoon. Sejan has 13 on 5 of 11 from the field. Risa looking to tie the game. He did! That burn over Lawrence. Got it a tough shot to tie the game. Oh, oh man, he'll take it. Tough shot. Pay to the board, and that'll do it. Pretty good shot by Wall. He might have been able to kick it out because Klesman was wide open at to the top of the key. Tominaga, an absolute blur to the rim to tie the game. As a result, the possession arrow flips, and they're rewarded with another hustle play by Blaze Kata. A crossover from Walker. What a drive to the rim. After securing an overtime win last time out at Penn State, but Nebraska overcomes a 17-point deficit here in Lincoln to pull away. Statement win for the Cornhuskers in a season of overcoming hurdles.